Showing y'all how I install my hair, and before you ask, no, it is not installed, it's just sitting on my head. But I already got my braids, and I have a dark brown wig cap. I'm not gonna do the stocking cap method, I only do that when I want my wig to stay on for a long time. So I'm just put the stocking cap on here, you know, and put the wig on top. And this is my wig, it's homemade. I cut some holes in it because I made it too small, but. This is it, and I'm just going to be starting this. Starting, putting this on. And this is my second time filming this video because the first time it was I was rushing and the glue was still wide and my part was crooked and everything that could have went wrong went wrong. So I'm filming this video over and hopefully it comes out better this time. So today I will be using Ghost Bond glue. If I can find my ghost bond glue. Here you go. Ghost bond glue. And a glue dryer. And I've used clips and a rack tail comb, which got hair in it. And that's about it. So the rest of this video is basically going to be a voiceover because as you may be able to see, my roommate came into the room and we were having conversations. So I ended up just deciding to do a voiceover. Now I am just basically adjusting the wig to my head and you might be able to tell but my part is a little off. I don't know what was going on with this video. It looked straight in real life and didn't look straight on the camera. But anyways, now I'm adding a little bit of makeup to my lace. And the makeup that I'm adding is the LA Girl Pressed Powder. I'm not sure what the exact shade was, but that is basically what I used. So next thing that I'm doing is just taking my ghost bond glue and I'm going to spread a layer onto my skin and I'm using the back of a eyebrow razor just to spread it on and I didn't do the stocking cap method so I'm trying to be very careful with the glue so I don't get a lot of it into my edges so that I can keep my edges you know. And after I do one layer, I just go in and blow dry it and add another layer. going in and doing the same thing for the middle part of my head that I did for the side which is just spreading a layer of glue blow drying that glue until it turns clear spreading another layer of glue blow drying that layer until it turns clear and sticking the lace down
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take some tissue and alcohol and try to remove some of the white residue that was on my lace. I think I might have put too much glue and that's what caused it to still be white. But I was just taking some tissue and dabbing the lace a little bit to try to get some of the whiteness out. And I'm just going to go and blow dry that. I'm going back in with my makeup and putting that on the lace basically and I'm just trying to get it to match better with my skin and I just used that same LA girl pressed powder Right here, I'm just taking an elastic band and I'm tying it around the lace to help it melt more. And I learned this trick from a YouTuber called Slave by Jordan.
so this is basically the finished look thank you all for watching be sure to like subscribe and comment and follow me on ig and twitter as well because i don't have any ig or twitter followers and comment what you liked what you didn't like or something and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching